and we welcome Weird James into the studio. Good morning, Weird James. Hey, good morning, guys. You are here to talk about the death of 35 millimeter in London, Ontario. Don't even talk about it. It's terrible. It's tragic. What does this mean for people who, who aren't like movie geeks? What what is the death of 35 this, millimeter? This is like a cost cutting measure that all the studios are trying to force uh, every movie theater to play these like giant hard drives versions of the movie instead of digital like, copies of digital the movie copies instead of the, movie, of the big instead of those big reels real. that you know where you get the little little flicker in the corner of the screen and that was the mm-hmm. key to flip it over like basically over 100 years worth of a medium that i feel is perfectly fine but yet uh you know they got to make these digital digital copies do you, do you think it's uh in what sense is 35 millimeter more superior to the hard drive then i think the picture is more richer it has a, a great color depth to it the <laughs> image is brighter oh this is terrible news weird james now we're stuck with high quality High uh, quality sound and picture when we go see movies. Less flammable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, not like the old nitrate. No, I mean, this is, uh, you know, every, and I could show you tons of stories of these hard drive uh, releases of the movies where, like, Avengers copies deleted opening night. Wow. Dark Knight copy deleted opening night. No. Some, some, some little 15 year old in the booth doesn't know how to work that. Like, the, mm. the, the medium is not quite there yet where they're forced. They should wait maybe a few more years mm-hmm. to force it down everyone's throats. So. Well, I, I grew up in the 80s and 90s and going to the movies, or the flicker and the sound just the, yeah, sound, the sound when the movie yeah. comes yeah, on that little like a little pop like yeah. even from when you were in uh, grade school and they showed you 16 millimeter educational films like i don't know if you remember those days but yeah, yeah i those, remember those, those are days. great health health class and it's popping and skipping and so i, I will miss the 35 millimeter oh. I will miss. I am sitting on hundreds and hundreds of 35 millimeter trailers. What the heck? Well, they they got, offered I, you one of the 35 millimeter projectors, didn't they? Or yeah, one of, that's one true. Of the so if you got a big theaters? garage and you don't mind me and a bunch of my drunk buddies, maybe email the station. We could set this thing up. How and, big? Uh, is, how big cool. is the projector? Oh man, it's big. It's as about as big as uh, well because of the the device that holds the actual film prints. Probably big as a uh, as a car. Car. Oh, well, wow. Car and half. <laughs> I had no yeah, idea. Well, yeah. So what? What's the, what are the last movies we're going to be able to catch in London on 35 millimeter? Um, well, I'm not sure exactly when the rainbow. You can still see all the movies like Expendables, whatnot, right now. The Highlands still got a 35 millimeter, but all the Silver Cities and whatnot, they're fully digital. Wow. But uh, our last 35 millimeter showing is a doozy. We got a clip here. We're going to let them know what it is. I hate this movie. The story is true. <laughs> I hate that scene. Oh, the meat hook. Awful. Sally, I hear something. Stop. Stop. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre from New Line Cinema. Rated R. Vagrancy Films showing the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. When is the uh, the big screening? It's tonight at uh, 11 o'clock, but we're not going to buzz us back. The saw is the law. Who's, who will survive <laughs> and what will be left of them? We're, we're showing part one. Bunch of trailers, hot dog ads, all that great stuff. Then it's going right into the uncut, unrated version of number two, oh. which was banned in Ontario for years and years and years. So I'm really proud to be finally be able to play it in its uncut format. And, uh, you know, that's the one with the guy with the coat hanger we were talking about. Oh, scratching I hate his head. that one. You want to do a trivia question? What is that so, a trivia question? Yeah, so who, like, who has seen these movies in the theater? No one, hardly anyone has. No, I saw them on VHS, which VHS. is also dead, by the way. 35 millimeter, <laughs> tonight, come party with Weird James, Rainbow Cinemas, 11 o'clock, and I'm going to give some tickets away right now. All righty. Hopefully some freaky people know their horror movies. What's the question? What was the name of Leatherface's brother in part two? The guy that scratched his head with a coat hanger all the time, and then <laughs> he would, he would bite the end of it. Yeah, and then disgusting. lick it, lick it after he hit, scratched his head. Weird, with. James, you seem a little sad this morning. This I'm is the sad, last I'm 35 sad. millimeter uh, vagrancy film show, and it's been a good run, dude. Yeah, I'm hoping maybe somebody's going to take us up on that offer. Let's get this garage thing going on, speakeasy thing. Maybe we can get greasy for a few more years. 519-643-9696 is the number here in the studio. If you know the answer to the trivia question, you could, be go, you could go scream your face off with Weird James and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre tonight. The best thing-